welcome back into the program. If you're just tuning in, we've been here at William Thomas Custom Jewelers later in the program. We're going to check in with the owner, Bill. We're going to get to know your jeweler. It'll be fun. Right now, though, we're talking to Kristen johnson Bot, and she's with Mindful Wellness, and she says, Dear Stress, let's break up. I like that idea. Thanks for joining right. us. Thank you. <laughs> so there are so many negative effects to stress. Uh, there's a lot of added stress that we're enduring right now, a lot going on. How are you helping your clients through this? Well, I think the most important thing is to realize that stress lives between your ears, <laughs> it lives mm -hmm. in your brain. So it's the story you're telling yourself about it. And so really trying to um, not wait for everything to settle and everything to be perfect and fine before we feel good, but deciding we're going to feel good and what kind of steps can we take to take our power back. I think that's wonderful because, you know, a lot of times when we are feeling badly about something and stress is one of those feelings, we're waiting for the perfect moment in life. Well, guess what? Probably isn't going to come because mm -hmm. life is just imperfect. So let's decide to think differently about it. Exactly. And it doesn't have to take a lot of time to sort of understand this concept or start moving towards this. So what do you think we should all start with? Well, I always have my clients work with, and if I go into a company or anything, the first thing we do is something we're doing anyway, which is breathing, right? And if we take a little bit of time to be mindful about how we're breathing, you can absolutely just reset your mind. So once our mind gets going on a track that it's gone on before, it's really hard to back it up and go a different direction. Right. But if you can get into your breath and get into the moment that you're in and realize this is the moment I have power over, right. it really changes both the hormones and chemicals that you're releasing and also the way that you're able to see things. So Yeah, good point. You know, as soon as you said being mindful about my breathing, I, I went to thinking about how I was breathing and noticed I'm taking these little teeny short breaths. Yes, exactly. Take a deep breath. And then you want to take a deep breath. Right. right. So if you don't mind, we could do a couple breaths together. Because yeah, when we're breathing shallow, our body is actually telling our brain that something's wrong, right? So we're actually in this place of being in stress or trauma, which we may not even be. It's just our perception. Right. So um, if you don't mind, yeah. we'll take a couple Let's deep take breaths. A couple we'll breaths. close okay. our eyes if that's comfortable for you. For some people, it's not comfortable. And just start to first feel your feet, whether they're touching the ground or whether they're hugging together in your body. Feel your sits bones wherever they're seated. And then just follow your breath, not trying to control it or change it. Just follow that breath in through your nose. Feel yourself fill up with energy and then feel yourself let go on that exhale. Just start to follow that breath in and out. And if you wish for a lot of people, especially if our mind is busy, it helps to add an anchor word to our breath. So maybe we're breathing in peace, breathing out tension. And feel that happen. Just sort of find awareness that our breath is bringing us what we need physically to our body and it's taking away what we no longer need. When we just follow that and maybe let it happen on an energetic level as well, we can fill up with a little more awareness of this moment. Oh, we can just let go. Do that. Yeah. It's funny how quickly your, your whole body changes and, and you, how quickly I feel more relaxed. Absolutely. It's like so. it's thanking you. <laughs> yes, really. Mm -hmm. It's like a little treat for your right. body. And we don't think to stop and do that. So what do you think are the most important times in our day to really stop and be mindful of that? That's a great question. So the most influential times of your day are when you first wake up and right before you go to sleep. Your mind is actually in a place of setting itself up for the day mm -hmm. um, or deciding what it's going to, what your subconscious mind is going to chew on, if you will, sure. all night long. So start Starting just even a few minutes, you've probably heard the 1% of your day can affect 99%. Just starting a few minutes in the morning, taking a few breaths, thinking about how you wish to show up, not waiting to see how your day goes, but mm -hmm. how am I going to show up? What am I going to look for? Maybe listen to a little podcast or do five minutes of meditation and breathing. Puts mm -hmm. you in a reception mode and more of a restorative mode. Oh, that's great. And one thing I like to touch on when we talk about this kind of topic is when we're watching this, when I'm listening to you say these things, I get it and I want to do it. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's hard to 
to make it really come into practice, make it a reality in your life. Yes. And so that's what you're so good at helping us do. And because of uh, what we're going through right now, September, you have some virtual ways that you can connect with people. Exactly. One of the first things I would recommend is I have a free download. It's a mindful journal that you can download off my website. It's mindfulwellnesscoach.com. And it just, there's little things you can do in the morning and little things you can do at night to just set yourself up. And then I have some classes people could jump in, like a stretching and restorative or workouts to get those endorphins going. But in September, I'm also offering, it's a five for five program. So it's five minutes, five days in a row. You just download it and start your day with a little guided, you know, here's what we can do. And notice as you do that, when you start your day that way, the whole rest of the day, you're not waiting to see what happens to decide how you feel. You're actually creating your day. Oh, I love that. Sort of pushing into where you want it to be. Exactly. And how do folks sign up for your services? You have, of course, free and then hired services. Yes. So they can sign up for a newsletter on my website, and then they'll get free every month with different tips and things that are coming along. Um, or they can go to the Facebook page, which is Mindful Wellness LLC, or to my website, which is mindfulwellnesscoach.com. Mindfulwellnesscoach.com. Kristen, yeah. such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for you doing too. that. We'll be right back with more after the break.